from littlebluedeerdesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the use any font plugin to add really cute um, custom fonts to your blog and as you can see a blog or website is really a lot more fun when there's some cool interesting um, different fonts you don't want to overdo it but I just wanted to show you my favorite plugin for using special fonts and also how to add a font um, into your blog post a custom font so the first thing that you're gonna do is go to plugins add new in your dashboard and I already have this plugin installed but the plugin is called use any font and when you see it you're going to want to click the install now button like I said mine's already activated but as you can see this font uh, this plugin has over a hundred thousand active installations it's got a bunch of five star recommendations it was recently updated and it's compatible with my version of WordPress which is the latest these are always just good things to check when you're installing a new plugin um, always good if they're updated and have a lot of uh, installations and high ratings so once you've got the use any font plugin installed you're going to go right over to your dashboard you'll see it here in the menu use any font and I already have an API key so it's going to ask you for an API key you can get that by following the instructions it's very self-explanatory and I'm not going to show you how to do it uh, if you want to add I believe more than one font the plugin author does ask for a donation I highly recommend making a donation I always try to do that these plugin authors spend a lot of time um, and money to develop plugins for us to use and I just always think it's nice to send them a little tip so once you do that and you have your API key set then what you're going to want to do is add a font and I've chosen a font called Molina I'm actually going to go ahead and delete it so I can show you how to add the font alright now first of all you need a font um, fonts are all over the place there's Google web fonts there's lots of free fonts um, one of my favorite places is a site called myfonts.com and I'm going to talk a little bit about licensing in just a minute um, but the font that I've chosen to use is called Molina so when I have my font it should be installed on my computer okay you want to make sure that you have it installed on your computer you're gonna go to add fonts you're going to type the name of your font, whatever you want to call it, and then you're going to click on the Choose File button. Now, I have a MacBook. I know a lot of people have PCs. There's different ways um, to navigate to your font and find it, but I'm going to show you for a Mac. You go to Choose File. I'm going to click on my desktop, and in the search box, I'm going to type Molina. Okay, so I can see here that I have the Molina also if you don't see it right away you can click on this Mac if you're using a PC I'm sure there's an option like all files that sort of thing um, you can use either the OTF or the TTF font just double click and then click on the upload button and you'll see by clicking on upload you confirm that you have the rights to use this font very important you want to have the rights to use the font um, if it's a free font, that's fine. If you've purchased it somewhere like my fonts, where they have a ton of really pretty, ooh, they're having a, they're having a problem today on their site. Um, they have a ton of really pretty different fonts. You want to make sure that you've purchased the web license. That is your responsibility, and I am certainly not advocating um, use of fonts that are not licensed. So, go ahead and upload. And now we're going to talk about assigning the font. So when you've uploaded, go down to the next box and you're going to click on Assign Font. We're going to select our font, Molina, which I uploaded. I am going to add Molina as a block quote. Okay, this is going to allow me to add a pretty custom font um, line of text within my blog post by clicking on the block quote uh, selection. So. I've done that. I've chosen Molina. I've selected it as block quotes. Now keep in mind you can assign your font to all of the all of the fonts on your blog by choosing the all body. Um, you can also assign it to the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 tag, um, paragraphs. You do need to have a little bit of basic knowledge. This will vary by theme. Um, 
always I try to pitch our custom blog design services. This is one thing that having a custom blog designer can do for you is um, make sure your fonts are assigned in the right places and style them. So this is just a very simple tutorial. It's probably intermediate level. Um, you will need to have a little bit of knowledge about your theme um, to make this work in all the places that you want. But I just wanted to introduce you to the plugin. And of course, if you need any more help, you can leave me a comment. And um, I always do like to sell my custom blog design services. So we've chosen block quotes, and I'm going to click on assign font. And now I'm going to come over to my post. And I just picked a blog post that I did recently. Um, a lot of cute confetti and glitter. And I thought that it would be fun to add a little custom line of text. So all I'm going to do is scroll down to my text and my custom font text headline here. Okay, now remember I chose block quote back over here on the use any font section. So what I'm going to want to do is highlight my text and I'm going to click on the block quote tag. Now we see the block quote has been applied. And now I'm going to update my post. And then it's taking just a second. I'm going to come right over here to my post and I'm going to refresh it. And I'm going to scroll right down. And there's my custom font text headline here. So as you can see, all you had to do was just set this text as a block quote. Now, if you were, if you had gone back over to the use any font and you had chosen to assign the font to all um, or the paragraphs, then if you wanted all of your paragraph fonts to appear in your custom font, then you can go back over to edit post and you would just click on and highlight paragraph unclick the block quote paragraph and then it would also be applied to all of the font um, and your paragraphs. So that's really it. Um,